going to make a Christmas wreath and for that I'm going to mix some uh, green colored clay with some light green color and I'm not going to mix it a hundred percent so that I still have a little uh, different speckles of colors in it when I'm done and I need this mold and I will put a link in the info right up here for the video where I show how to make the leaves so my clay is ready and I rolled it into a thinner snake. I like this to be a little thinner because the thicker you make it, uh, the longer time it takes to make this wreath. So I uh, want mine in a heart shape so I take this mold and I'm going to squeeze the clay here to the outside of the mold. Cutting it off here at the end and placing it around and I'm going to cut it off right here so that's nice and I'm going to carefully peel it off the mold like that so I have the shape of my heart. You can make the shape by hand as well. I am going to squeeze it a tiny bit flat here. So here I have the uh, wreath itself, but now we're going to make a ton of these uh, leaves. So I'm going to take some of my clay here, just a tiny bit of it, and squeeze it into my mold. Making sure I fill up the mold. And if you have rest clay on the mold, you cut it off with your uh, sharp blade. Like that. And you squeeze it out. And I just ruined this one. Then I take my leaf and I'm going to start here at the bottom of my wreath. Keep filling up the shape of the leaf and cut off the excess clay and place the leaves like you want them on your wreath. So I'm going to work on this and I will put on some music and let you enjoy it. And just remember this takes a lot of time to make, so enjoy. The wreath itself is done now. You can uh, decide to leave it like this or you can pip it up. I put it through my pasta machine on a setting 7. And first I'm going to cut out a string of it. Leave that for a second. And I'm going to cut the ends off in an angle. And making two strips here because I want a bow for this right here. So 
So I'm going to place these. as uh, the ribbon, like that. Then I'm going to take this piece again and I am going I'm going to cut out two squares. I want them to be alike, something like that. And I'm going to take the squares and I bend the corners together like that and pull it back like this. Doing that with the other one as well. I think this is a bit off. There we go. So bend the corners carefully together and bend the other two backward like that. And I'm going to pick up these two pieces and place them before a bow and I'm going to take a tiny piece of the red clay here just a tiny piece and I'm going to make a tiny ball and I'm going to roll it a bit oblong and I'm going to place it in here and I'm going to take my ball tool And work this part so it gets uh, into the knot of the bow until I like this shape. You can decorate this as you want to just like I said. Um, so I'm going to take some of my red colored clay here and cut out a few balls here and there. Roll a few balls and place them on the wreath as the berries. There you go. And I'm going to do that a few places here and there. And when I'm ready, I'm going to bake it. And then I will be back. So this is how my wreath look now. Um, it's very flat, so I'm going to make a few, uh, what you call that, highlights on it. First of all, I'm going to um, make a dark uh, wash for it. So I'm going to take... Uh, a little bit of my black colors here and I'm going to take a little more of my green um, and you can uh, do this into something else or on a piece of paper if you don't like this um, I'm just gonna make this so I can save it for other projects then I have my airbrush thinner. Actually that is just a thinner for paint. So I'm just going to put some of that into this little jar. I hope this is enough. And I am going to thin this paint so I get a nice dark green thin paint here. Take your time with this. And I'm just going to take my wreath and this thin, thin green and I'm just going to paint it on my wreath here. Mostly into the grooves of the leaves. When you are happy with the result of this, leave it to dry. So my wreath has dried now, so I can uh, either leave it like this or I can make a little highlights on it. And I am going to make a tiny highlight or a little highlight. So I'm just going to um, take a tiny bit of white acrylic paint and I'm going to dry brush 
on here. I'm going to remove the white that I got on the ribbon here with a little piece of paper. Um, but that's all there is to this craft. I hope you'll like this. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you do. That really means a lot to me. Uh, and thank you for watching this video.